I'm up like the Eiffel Tower. I think that I won. Give me some champagne showers. I'm fly like a bug. I sting you. I'm about it. Need to commit. I'm up and I'm out of here. What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Taranovis from EA Gaming. And yes, we are back with another Wizarding Wednesdays. So, with that being said, you already know we finna just hop right back into Dick where we left off. You should be so, proud you know, of all the potions you've brewed. I forgot where we had left off, really. But, you know, we left off at a good little spot. You know, we, uh, we ended up doing a little. A little, a little something, a little, a little bit of everything. That's that's pretty much what we did. Hold on, give me one quick second. Uh, Meet me near the ruins of Falbottom Castle after dark. Oh, it's not for a guy. We got homegirl on our side. That's that's my little shorty. So we got me with Natty. We got attend astronomy class. So I really want to knock out some of these though. Oh, sorry about that. It's my alarm. Knock out this one. We're gonna we're gonna do some. We're gonna just do a whole bunch of quests and try to knock Anyone? things out. So let's see. Where is this quest though? That's the real question. Okay. I promise you, if we didn't have fast travel, we would probably be nothing in this game. This game will probably take forever. It's already taking a long time, and there's nothing wrong with that, but this itself would take exceptionally too long. And and I believe it's because, you know, it's, it's a good game. It has a lot of quality, it has a lot of things that go into it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to wait real quick. Man, oh man. <clears throat> so Shorty wants to talk to us. Oh, there's a lot of people who want to talk to us. What's up, girl? Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, Everybody my uncle Roland have a is a metal here. trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl, and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. She should be straight. Her should I be straight. worried about my uncle? Nah, or you am good. I overthinking this? You overthinking this? Yeah, you're overthinking. I'm not convinced you need to worry. Perhaps your uncle's been delayed. And surely he can take care of himself. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly man. what Professor Weasley <clears throat> said when she forbade me from leaving the grounds to look for oh, him. Damn. She tried she's to convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Yeah, let me know the ins and outs, bro. Goblins. You're not finna set yes, me up and then I end ages. up dying. Even speaks gobbledygook. Especially for someone I don't but know. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. Mm -mm -mm. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was Damn. born. And I lost my father when I was five. Oh my goodness. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls. To let me know that he's all right. She don't want to lose no one else. I'll, I'll try, try to look help. Into it you know, I'll try. He probably Thank dead. You. Everybody seems to be dying. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal. Makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself huh. into? Let's go talk to this girl, too. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Might as well is just knock things right? out, try to talk yes. to her many people I'm as sorry. I can. I'm just... 
I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. She gonna Why tell would me I do what that? To do? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. Okay, if uh -huh. you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Mm, I don't too far. Surely keys. you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. I'd love to know what you're doing later tonight. Why because would my Professor boy needs some to flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. We'll see. Perhaps I'll give hey, it to they be asking me to do, do any and everything fact, up over here, which I is think crazy. I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if uh, anything. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back to our quest. Let's see what all we have to do. We're gonna do this first because we that was the first thing we talked about. All right, let's see where this is. Check the world map. And we're gonna see if we can just... Oh yes, yeah, oh, it's close. Okay, cool. Could fast travel there and we could just get there with some speed and do what we gotta do. Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Let's see what let's see what, what can happen. It's like right there though, which is a good thing about it. I already know we're gonna have to fight some people. Possibly have to kill someone. Could this be Mr. Oaks' campsite? Red Rocks Loyalists, just ahead. Discreet. So we gotta change this around real quick. I wish I could need to open up some more. Um yeah, come here. What is this? No, I don't need that. What is this? That'd be also. And then just in case if I need to do something. We're gonna see if we could try to be sneaky in this whole situation. This is a waste of money. Oh, they everywhere, bro. Hold on, now we're gonna have to see how we go about this. Look like they killed someone. Is that someone dead right there? Oh, they are locking folks up. Patricus Titanus. How nice of you to stop by. Ooh. Seems your eye isn't in this at all. Thank you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. It says 
low. Much too slow. <laughs> Trade journal. Rumors Law agreed to meet by Dufil Tad any today. I vended their request and were angry when I asked questions. I've heard some of the plan and God will look in there after my rare metal deposits are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile and I need transactions to happen. Perhaps we can work out compromise. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Yeah, I dig it, let's see if there's anything else in here that I can have. Okay. Oh, snap. Nice. Alright, cool. Oh, there's some more stuff. Alright, let's... I guess we're gonna look at the... How do I see it, though? Like we're following this trail here. Go straight. Is that a crooked tree? A crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Crumbling tower. Maybe this is the way. Crumbling tower, there it is. And the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. So this should be it right here. Yeah, what this do we have here? Yeah, this gotta be it, Sam. Brewing, and I'm without my friends. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Revenio. Oh, nice. about the duel and stuff. I'm trying to figure out where, where this the is. ladder. That's what I need. Nice. We're gonna sell those gloves because those gloves aren't looking right. Or missing. Okay, he 
up there. Okay. Damn, we slowly, we slowly getting through this, man. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. How they don't even hear any of this because I'm making some mean noise right now. But we doing we doing some good we doing some good work right now. What's this? What will we find in here? Revelio. I got here. Yeah, got bread. Give me my money, three dollars. The wizards will be defeated. It's punishment to us all to have that miserable human around. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Things were spot on. <laughs> Revelio. <laughs> you see how much there is out here? There's so many people, bro. So many goblins. Human word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna just... This. We're gonna have to be smart about this. On Ranrock's hands. Oh dang! My boy said, "Your blood is on his hands." Rebellion. See how this goes. 
see if we go down here, see if we find something. What's down oh, there? Shit. I think this is it right here. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. I found him. Let's go. This cell has no chance of lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a ball of lock. I've heard you speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks's wand. Where could it be? A boiler door. Sorry, I'll go back up. Okay, okay. This ain't bad. Rebellion. I definitely get my money's worth though. Get, get my bread. So I can't climb up there. Oh, it's right here. How do I do this? Find Roland's wand. So the real question is, Rebellion. what do y'all want me to do over there? I'm just making it harder for myself. There's a lot of good stuff around here. My gear slides. Oh my goodness. I really need to get some time to start selling things because mm -mm -mm, right now it's big. Got some gloves though. All right, let's head back. Try to figure out what we need to figure out. <laughs> yeah, my way. Hello, Hamora. seen that episode where I was learning how to do this man y'all be like bro you came a long way imagine you just it's a regular day at work and all of a sudden you just getting the brake speed off of you I'll be pissed like, what did I do to deserve this? I'm just, I'm just here for my regular day, you know, work. Go this way. Oh no, no, no! We ain't trying to leave. Let's 
it's my fault. I should have stayed over here, tried to learn how to open it up or try to explore. I know, I know where we are. Yeah, I know exactly where we are. At least it's like a circle. It's not like I'm just, you know, going to random places and not knowing where I'm going. Revelio. Fine. How do I do this? I was about to say, oh, that's it. All right, we start heating that guy up. Is it working now? Let's go. Look at that. messed up. Don't need that. Don't need that. Expect oh shit. Hold up, hold up now. Hold up, hold up. Okay, oh, hold up now. You're gonna die. You almost had a I'm done. Let's go. The gear size, that's this gear? Revelio. Where's Wand at? Better be in, here, in this chest right here, man. Oh my goodness. Look. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Yeah, I ain't worried about, you know, finding more gear. But let's let's head back to this man. Let's try to give him what he deserves. Which is his, uh, his, um, his wand. He went this way? I believe it was this way. Yeah, it was this way. Where you at? Did we go that way? Yeah, it was this way. Bro, this, this place is so confusing. Like, give me that. We know where to go. But luckily, we just marked a whole bunch of people who got a whole bunch of experience from that. Give him his one. And just like that, we were able to save him, get things going the right way. Oh, he looked far. You did it. I oh, found my wand and... Wait, you're a you? student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. Don't worry about safety, it's but dangerous. I just saved you. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin. You're either very lucky or very talented. I'm talented. I well, got that talent. It? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. So we got locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I guess my dog they overheard my dog things. Was in here. 
If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you. Yo, we gonna tax him. Get some interest off him. What did you overhear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. Oh After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. And that's Ever why since, he's a villain. Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all See, as See, and that's what happens. Like, folks be some dicks, bro. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? I'm Gobbledy to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. All right, cool. I'm grateful I was we able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Now let's, let's do Adelaide a main quest and world, we could call it. Oh, and I, her. Uh, she could become quite that. savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Good. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my had, safety. Hard. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you. Her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. He knows what's up. Be well, my friend. I'm not your friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Well, that's done. We did good on that one. Okay, thank you. We finally found the exit, bro. I'm like, bro, how we get out of here? Cool. Revelio. We just gonna we just gonna head back to the school, do one more quest, and then call that one. I think we're just gonna do it now. Just a easy one, just attend some class. Hogwarts map. Now, you know, I, I kind of feel like trying to find every single, you know, one of them joints called, uh, like, she quick places. Say that. I thought. So we... Oh, we had one right there. That's the crazy thing. All right, cool. We can knock this one out. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Oh, that's hard. That's hard as hell. Man, if y'all don't heat up, y'all see me, I ain't caught Still at all. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. 
Can he not speak? Is he scared of me? Here, I can adjust that. Oh, I was no, about no. to say. Bring it in to focus on your own. Hey, yo. That looks amazing. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Why is he is that so clear? timid? But, professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. I see Ryan. They they getting out of here because it's dummy cold. Man. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of my term. My man, I ain't gonna lie, he finna be my friend. Nah, I can't take that shit. I can't do that, I'll meet. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. Be a little it's my own make one. It seem like, you know, I finally I'm got my guy, hands on the new really, Celestia Contemplo. Kill him. <laughs> You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. Damn, I have some you don't even uh, got it on him. reading to finish on the lower deck. That's Come find crazy. me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, it's not that far. This was his old telescope. <laughs> That's practically brand new. What is this? Expelling arms. Oh no. Incendio. Accio. Yeah, I see it. I see what I got going on. Where you at? <sighs> Fuck up. Mm. You ugly piece of turd. Oh, what's up, my boy? Perfect night for. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. Okay. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. I'm and you need someone nice, to help find to it. it I nice. do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. Bro, I look you like a regret bum. It. I gotta get my fit, Shall right? we? So I'm gonna try to save up and change my outfit, bro. Because this ain't it. I look nasty as hell. Where the hell are we? I bet you we're gonna have to fight people and save him. Because he don't know how to fight for real. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Hey man, I'm cool, bro. Just keep leading me. I'm right behind you. <sighs> it is nice having a fellow stargazer bro, to explore I with. I do not want to talk. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? I don't know where I'm if going. If you're sure. You suck, bro. Scary. 
Here, yeah, yeah, boy. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Just not as tidy as I expected. We don't care, bro. Let's get to it. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Can't be scared of cobwebs, cobwebs, my boy. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Bro, if you don't oh, no. your ass. Not this close to school, I mean. Bro. How do I use it? Oh, I was like, how do I use this table? The constellation oh, should appear near the center of your view. Oh, this kind of this far. As soon as you've lined up, oh! we will be able to fill out our star chart. Yeah, that's I was dope. right that was, about that was the dope. tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs yeah, one day. Yeah, be known as the best wizard in the world. I look forward Thank to that. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forests. He gonna become all one of my good beckoning friends to be too. discovered by a, war, a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite my generous. Man. Thank right. you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Say less. But, all right, ladies and gentlemen, my wizards and my witches and my witches and my wizards! That will conclude today's episode of Wizarding Wednesday. So if you haven't already, hit that like button with your knees, elbows, and toes, and everything that shows. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you really haven't, hit that subscribe button. And turn on those post notifications for you, boy. So you know when I post. I know what you like what you see because you know you don't subscribe. But with that being said, it's your main man. I'm turning numbers from E.A. Diamond. And I got to go. Bye. I got apathy. Everyone surrounding me. They all looking down at me. All by my lonely, eternally focused, I know that I'm chosen. Made some mistakes, I pray on occasion. Thanks for my people that hurt but are eating, I'm down. But